All right, so I've, ever since I've seen the first autonomous mower, I've wanted one. And Segway reached out to me. They've sent me this for free, but they are not going to see any of this footage before I upload it. And I'm going to show you the caveats and the pros and cons to this mower. Um, they've sent me the garage, as I'll show you. So you've got this, which is an extra thing. This does not come with the mower from the factory, but... This plate and all that you're gonna see in this video comes with it. And I'm gonna show you the things that they could do better and the things that are really, really good about this mower. Now, as you can see, if you look out through here, all through this area, I've made three zones for this to mow. And I even made one all the way around the other side of the house. I tried to put it in the hardest situations so it would make it to where if it was going to mess up that it would so everybody wants to know can it mow your yard this is rated for a quarter of an acre this mower is here now it can mow a quarter of an acre efficiently what i want you to understand about this mower though is it's not really a mower in a sense it's a maintainer and I'm going to show you why, you know, if you get this mower, one of the caveats to it is, if you look over here, so you can see this grass that is through here. I've left this from this line here all the way over, and I've just been letting it mow this by itself for one week now. And so what you see in this area get down low kind of show them the area what you can see and you, it doesn't have vacuum in it so we've been in a drought and as you can see there is some longer blades like this here it's not going to suck those up like a traditional mower here's why i'm going to flip the mower and i'm going to show you this so on this mower you can see here when we take it out this is a basically razor blade mower so you you've got here that this spins now what you're going to have is it's going to cut the grass when it hits it um but the problem is there's no vacuum to suck the blades up so if your grass is laying over or it's in a drought it's not real healthy you're going to have pieces that are going to that are going to be sticking up and as you can see you know these are growing long but if it is set to three inches like this you can set one of the things i like about this mower a lot of them don't go up to very high the one thing i noticed about this is it can go all the way up to 3.6 inches so when you raise that up high you could start out like if you got this and you hadn't mowed your yard you could put it on 3.6 inches and send it over it 10 times if you had to the great thing is once you set that up once you set this mower up i've set this mower up and went all around my landscaping as you're going to see when i set this mower up i've not had to do anything with it it literally can mow different zones different areas you can have it mow every day of the week you can have it mow you know all day long if you want to you know it'll literally mow until it runs almost dead take itself back to the charger completely charge itself go back out and start over again that's one of the things i love about this mower the other caveat that i'm going to tell you is you're still going to have to weed eat here's why if you look at the bottom of this mower when you're looking at it here so when you're looking in here these are about an eight to nine inch spread across through there of what it can mow so you still got this area this wide so there's approximately four to four and a half inches on each side so you can get pretty close to landscaping and when you're looking at that you know you're going to go around through here and i'm going to show you i haven't weed eated i haven't done anything just so you guys could see just you know how close it can get to the rocks That's so one of the nice. scenarios well, huh? One of the scenarios that I'm going to show you guys is if you look here, so you can see around this rock and this landscaping, this lip around through here, you can see where I have let it mow. I've been letting this mow for about two weeks by itself, just so I could see what it was capable of. 
and how much it would mess up. Cause I don't want to, the last thing I want to do is push a product that's going to give you a headache. You know, I, I don't want to push product that's going to be a pain in the butt. And I've seen the other reviewers have a ton of issues out of the earlier model. I truly think that they have all the quirks worked out. Now, if you look here, you're still going to have to weed because it cannot get to this. Now, I live in Kentucky. We have bluegrass and fescue, so you get really long blades that grow out through here. And when you're mowing around this with a regular mower, the vacuum, if you run your deck over this, will suck this back over and cut it off. So I don't have to weed eat this with a regular mower. But with this, because it doesn't have vacuum, and then you've also got that four inch lip that it can only get so close to it, as you can see here, it's only mowing to about right here. And then you've got this lip that goes around through here. So if you have a ton of landscaping and a ton of area that this thing's gonna mow through, you're still gonna have to weed eat this area. But you can see I had it mow. So what I did is I made that a zone all the way around through here and come up through this around all of my landscaping and then around my funky tomato plant situation I've got over here. <clears throat> and then I'm one of the cool things is I'm gonna take you around front and show you. So let's say you've got a house like this. You make an area over here and an area right here and then you've got a totally separate uh, area that you want to mow. So I've got a driveway that separates this. Now I've seen in a lot of the reviews, if you had something that was separating your, your property, like a driveway or uh, some kind of gravel or something like that, a lot of the reviewers said that you had to pick the machine up and carry it over to another area. Well, you don't have to do that no longer. You can make digital highways. And I'm gonna show you that in the video on this, but you can make digital highways. So I made a digital highway that is set up by the GPS, which you can see my GPS here, this little beacon, which is this, gives it GPS to the sky. One of the most important things for this mower to work correctly is for you to have that beacon with clear view. You want it to be visually, no awnings over it, no big trees beside it. I had to move that beacon about three times so that it would clearly get sky view. You wanna make sure that you've got the ability to do that because if you try to hide that thing and it's not getting good visibility, your mower will not work correctly. As soon as I got that to where it was legit and it was working in pro uh, proper functioning, I've not had zero issues. I, it goes back home every time. But here's the next thing. I made that digital highway. So it goes across this by itself. Now keep in mind, when I hit mow, I can hit all three zones. So I have it mow all of that area, all the way around my house. And then it drives over here and it mows all of this. Now it's been maintaining these three areas for about two weeks now. So you can see just how maintained this terrain, one of the things that I was worried about is you can see a dip here. You can see it's got loose dirt and rock. Um, this is kind of bumpy. One of the things I was nervous about is would it be able to take these hillsides? Would it be able to take this terrain? Because we've had a couple of other mower companies and they were just two wheel drive like that one. And it couldn't turn on the terrain wheel and they just, slid or got out of line and then after they got out of line so many times they would just hit error i've not had zero issue one of the things that i noticed about this let's say that it gets up here and it can't make this turn it will literally back itself over and bump and then keep going around until it can drive and go and it will manipulate itself to actually mow it to where you have zero issues and as you can see i had this island in the middle of this so i was wondering could it keep itself from tearing up? Could it keep itself from going down the steps? Now, as you're gonna see in the video, the one time that it fell down these stairs, I didn't have a boundary set. So you have to set a boundary. Let's say you've got a area like this. If you have a zone like this, you need to set a boundary at the top of your steps, like a visionary boundary that's right here with that robotic mower so it will not accidentally go down this because 
when I mapped all this, I just mapped it in a circle and then circled this with the mower. Well, it can still go in and out of those boundaries. So if you had a sidewalk or you had a drop off or stairs, make sure that you're setting a virtual boundary. Now, one of the cool things, that mower has a camera on the front of it. So what you're gonna see when we go back over here, it has a camera on it. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna tell you, I don't know why Segway didn't do it, but they didn't make it to where you could see out of the camera. They should have made it to where you could look on the app and visually see in front of that mower. That would have been a really cool thing. And hopefully futuristically, they update it and make it to where you can. Now, if you're looking at this, you can see this grass here, you know, it's not going in the rocks and it mow, it's mowing all of this area. So both sides of the house, all of this area, down around my landscaping and up around my landscaping. And so far it's been flawless. Like I said, you can see there's a couple of little grass blades here and there, but for the most part, it's been a great cut. So this is at night and I've turned it on and towed it to go mow my third boundary. And we're just going to see how well this vision fence works. So if you're in an area that you want to mow at night, you can see how quiet this is. Also, you can see that it has a light in the front with the camera system that's right here in this little beacon. So it's able to still avoid obstacles and go around things even in the night. Now you can see here, this is where I've drawn this virtual boundary and you can see what it's gonna do where I map that visual boundary. It's gonna follow this to this zone and start mowing. It's even avoiding the leaves for some reason, it thought that was something. I guess in the night, it casts a shadow. So that's how, <laughs> I mean, it thought that was something in the grass. And so if it was mowing and it was gonna do that, then it's gonna go around those so that it doesn't chop them up or mess them up, which is pretty wild that it's able to do that. Plus it knows that it's on a virtual boundary so it's trying to not mess anything up on that digital highway. So that's how particular this thing is. I find that very interesting and that it's working that well. So as you can see here, it's gonna go over here to this area and start mowing. Like I said, it's completely pitch black out as you can see. I mean, I've got the light on my camera on and then it's shining light. So let's see what it does here. Once it gets up on there, it should kick the blades on. So you can see it taking that terrain also. And what it's doing is it's gonna go around this area and map and then virtually figure out what is the most efficient way for it to mow this whole area. And you can hear the blades there. That's literally as loud as the mower is, but you can hear the little razors going ting, ting, ting as they hit the grass blades, which it mowed this today at one notch higher. I just dropped it one little eighth just so it would actually hit something. I don't need to mow this area, but I just want to show you, you know, even at night, this thing is able to mow your yard. So 
you know, if you're playing during the day, you've got your backyard, your kids in and everything, you can fire this up at night and your neighbors would not know except for that light that's at the front. Wells, get in front of it and see if it'll stop. Wait, wait till it, yeah, see if it'll stop. See if it knows where you're at. Look at that. Even in dusk, with that camera on the front, he can figure out if there's something in front of it. And it'll reroute and go back in its lines. 